Hi, my name is Larry Shepard. It's December 2nd, 2012. And I just bought these rocks yesterday. Look around here, I got this. these rocks right down through here. I just brought them from an excav excavator. And what I'm gonna do is uh, clean them up. Before I put them up on my stone table, I'm gonna knock off some of this extra stuff. Here's a little concrete that needs knocked off. Using a stonemason's hammer. You roll the rock from all sides and uh, see what you got. This one has this extra thing sticking out right here. So I'm gonna knock this knot off. By uh, hitting it from the end. Give it a few whacks. Spin it around to the blunt side. Almost got it. What that does is squares the rock up so we can use it. It'll just be more square. That's all I'm doing. This, I'm going to finish this by cutting this, the end of this rock off. What I'm doing is just getting some of it knocked off before I even put it on the table. Ideally, most of my chiseling, when I get to the finer tuning of the stone, will be done on the tables. I'm just knocking off a little of this extra. See, once we have all this off, you have to get the rest of this by coming back this way. You need to go this way. If we just keep going like this, this rock will bust just like that. Now instead of having a square rock, I've got the same problem I started with. So we come down through here. Now we're going to go back this way to get the rest of it. Stand it up. Get it kind of level. See how much we want to take? Right there. See what we did? That looks good. And then I'll tune it up with chisels. Or or what the hell, since we're might as well just get it while I'm all bent over here. See normally you do this fine tuning on the up on my stone table. Show him the stone tables there, cameraman. Go down that way. He's a, under the, he's out of the rain, I'm not. But it's a beautiful day in December in Ohio. Avon Lake, Ohio. All right, back over here now, my man. Now this rock right here, this is a big, giant, thick rock. And I took the big rock hammer, a real big one, when we were at the stone yard yesterday. I use this, this big hammer, there's quite a difference in these rock hammers, and I shape this stone to make it round and also just to take enough weight off for me and my son Mitchell to get it onto the truck. Now what I'm going to do is the same thing, I'm just going to go around and knock off, just make it a little bit better stone while it's laying here in the ground before we muscle it up onto the table. Just knock off a little of this extra weight. This will make a giant bird bath. What this is, this, this hammer is an extension of a chisel. What I'm doing, you got a hump like this, you want to work backwards and forwards on it instead of up and down. If I hit this rock too hard right here, it could break like that. So we'll come backwards and forwards whenever you're in a tight spot. <laughs> See? And I don't want to do any more until I flip this rock over and, you know, match the sides. What we'll do is we'll stand this rock up this my rock stander up or is running the camera right now we'll uh, we'll come back at this later 
because I want to look at the other side. Then we decide which side is going to have facing up. Let's see what else we got. Here's a here's one I roughed up with a rock hammer. And uh, you look at a rock from all sides and then make a determination of what you what you want to do with it. And look for chips and cracks. There's a chip right there. Might as well just take that off. You don't want you want to remove your cracks. You know, if you've got a big chunk that's ready to now that would be a nice natural bird bath where I would just leave this or I could make it round. I'm gonna make it round. I sell a lot of round bird baths. Well not a lot. Just gonna go around it, kinda of making it rounder. Then we'll flip it over. Now you want to be careful when you're rounding a rock. You want to preserve. You don't want to make take off big giant chunks. What we're going to try to avoid you doing is knocking a big piece off like that. One way you do that is by well, this rock should be on the table. If you're doing this, here I'm. You just come around here by tilting it up. See that allows us to get a good straight up and down cut. looking pretty good. Once again I'll tilt this up a little. Now I got to decide which side I want to use. That would be a... We'll just use this side. Alright. Uh, uh, let's see here. What's next? What do we got? Oh I just did this one. What do we got over here? Take my tools. Let's see what's What's up with this rock? See, a lot of times, they this was the face of this rock. So, this see where the paint is here. This rock was laid in a wall like this, and all they needed was a good frontage. So they didn't necessarily make these square. They just, you'd get a nice square front with a little depth to it. Then it could be whatever it wanted to be back in here, as long as it was big enough to hold a, you know, 15 inch wall, the basement wall. So what I need to do with it is, this is good, this is good, I need to make it squarer. Don't have to, sometimes I leave these just like they are, yeah. See what this rock wants done. You look at it from all sides, big dip, dips going back in here, just like that other one. This end needs cut off. So all we'll do is we'll give it a couple whacks. You know what, let me move these things to the rock table. That's what I should have done to begin with. That's why I built these stone tables so that uh, I wouldn't have to bend over and work on the ground like I was just doing. I just got all excited. I just pushed these rocks off the truck and I get very excited about working on them right away. We got concrete on there. It's dipping back this way. It's dipping back that way. So we can eventually cut all this off. We'll cut this off, and we'll cut all that off and make a nice little square chunk. See, it's not making it into a nice little cornerstone. Well, one thing I need to do is get this rock out of the way. I'll see you later, bud. That's a sweet one right there. All right. Get out the old rock hammer. Remember this? We're going to get the, cut this off. Build it up. It's coming. And then you stop. Because you can work down through here, we always want to come at the end and get the other end. But I'm going to get the other side first before I get the end. There's not as much to take off this other side because the stone that makes it square. This was slanted in. So we just knock a little of this off, and then we'll take the rest from the end. And you always want to tilt the rock up. 